this version of you simply becomes real. And you're right here with this version of you. To see things as they really are. This version of you looking at you. version of you welcoming you. This version of you saying yes. I'd like you to imagine this version of Hello, hello, beautiful people. I don't know if it ever happened to you about being a creative person and then one day you wake up and you just feel like grabbing your camera and recording videos and making stuff is just so hard than it wasn't ever before. And I was in this spot <laughs> with video creation. I was struggling to create my own projects, my own videos. And whenever I'm stuck with that feeling, I just I just feel like I need to grab my camera, go outside and create videos such as this street videography that you just watched. And if you're feeling the same way with your filmmaking, as if like maybe you got a new camera or maybe you're having that feeling of going out and recording a video, but you have no idea what you can shoot, or maybe you just want to practice cinematography, you just want to build a portfolio. I believe that street videography is a way that you can subtly do it, uh, kind of just getting that muscle that wasn't being practiced much and just bring it back to life kind of thing. You know, whenever you're out of shape, not exercising much, not going to the gym, and then let's say suddenly you just decide to do a very intense workout such as CrossFit, that would be really hardcore. So uh, maybe instead you could do something that is less intense and less abrupt to your muscles in your body, such as swimming. I, I was talking with this guy the other day in the dog park, and uh, he's 80. Is that type of age where it's just getting harder to go and do hard, intense activities. He, and he was telling me how swimming became his new sport just because he wasn't aggressive, right? So I feel like uh, street videography is my soft sport whenever I need to come back and shoot doing my creative and personal projects. And the reasons of why I like street videography is that, first of all, you don't need to plan what your video is going to be about. You just got to bring your camera and just play some music on your headphones and watch whatever is happening and going on 
on your neighborhood and create a video about it. Uh, you just need to basically be an observer of life and be able to use your camera as a way to capture that. I also want to bring that the street videography is a great way to practice your understanding with natural light and how to use natural light in your favorite because you need to pay attention where the sun is and how the sun is hitting and where it's making shadows or maybe where it's painting the light. You also need to basically be patient because it's not as if you're going to the video, but the, the video and the images, they're coming to you. In my, in my perspective, for example, I'm really into recording people. I love observing people and recording people because I feel like they're the characters of the story or of characters of the film that I'm creating. And I also feel like we are really connected as humans. Uh, I feel like we we are the other in a way that we we will become older. We we were kids, and I love seeing how people live, how they do their groceries, for example. I know it's a little bit creepy, but it's fun for me. But let's say that's not your jam. You can bring your street videography for buildings or architecture, or maybe you can look into sports or anything that happens around your neighborhood and be able to record those in a really laid back uh, environment in a way that you don't have pressure to deliver something, but just in a way that you are enjoying the moment and also being able to record the moment that presents to you. And yeah, I was kind of stuck. I wasn't moving much forward. Uh, I've been working a lot lately, so my work just became very intense. And uh, having the time to just bring my camera and record my neighborhood and the neighborhood around of the city, it was so much fun for me. And I really hope that you like this video. If you also plan to do street videography, please tag me in. I would love to see the videos you guys are planning to create. And yeah, I really hope you give a chance for street videography. It's a great way to put your filmmaking muscles into work. And if you end up doing any videos, please share with me. I would love to watch it. And I just hope now I see you in the next video.